Get a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit from Bojangles today. It's bow time. <laughs> JMU started the year with four consecutive wins in their entering Sunbelt play this Saturday. They'll be taking on the University of Louisiana Monroe Warhawks. So Louisiana Monroe, they're actually performing above expectations this year. They're at a 3-1 record. They beat Troy 13-9 last week. And they seem like a team that could give JMU some problems with their defense. Hey, what do you have on yeah, there's only one defense that's been as good as JMU so far this year in the Sun Belt, and that is ULMs, right? They have a really, a really good pass rusher in Billy Purnell. Um, they have a really run-heavy offense, and I think they could pose some threats for JMU um, much more than they have in the, pa in the past couple seasons, or at least this last two seasons. Um, Ahmad Hardy is one of their best running backs. Um, he's a true freshman running back who's averaging 4.2 yards per carry, but they also have two other guys who have gotten 23 carries apiece who are averaging above five yards per carry. So I think this game is going to be one in the trenches, Tommy. Yeah, like what, what do you see from Ahmad Hardy that really makes him such a problem? Because they went to him a lot against Troy last week. Yeah, and if you look at the film and if you look at some of the stats, their offensive line actually hasn't been blocking in particularly that well. Ahmad has been able to create like something out of nothing. I think he just kind of has that raw ability to to make plays that come out of nowhere, even when um, the offensive line doesn't you know, open up all those holes. So I think there's someone they have to get to. A lot of guys at once, a lot of tacklers at once. You can't be solo tackling. Um, he's a player that you need to get a lot of bodies on, a lot of hands on, so he gets down on the first touch so he's not breaking too many tackles. Yeah, it's kind of interesting because when Troy played ULM last week, they didn't really, you know, pass the ball at all. And, of course, you're, Alonzo Barnett, that's a guy that's really had success in the passing game the past two weeks. How do you think he's going to be able to match up with ULM secondary? Yeah, I think it's going to be some uh, – I think JMU's plan at first is going to be similar to, to Ball State last week, and that's – Get out early, get out fast, get up to a, a biggest lead as they possibly can in the first quarter so that ULM's run, running game never becomes a factor. You know, if, J, if JMU goes up 14 nothing just like that, ULM won't be able to run the ball, and they don't like to pass. They're not good at passing. So I think if, if JMU get out to a fast start, they should, they should cruise to a victory here despite ULM, you know, being 3-1. and one. Yeah, Eric O'Neill and some of the other guys had a big day, you know, in terms of the sack department, just getting the quarterback behind the line. What do you really see? What do you think they're going to be able to do against ULM, do you think, in that offensive line that maybe isn't as good as, you know, some of the other Sun Belt teams? Yeah, I think that offensive line is led by a former Duke and Carter Miller who, who started for, for James Madison last year and he's playing center this year for ULM. But I think the pass rush took a major step up last week against Ball State. I think uh, defensive coordinator Lyle Hemphill has done a really good job of, of his blitzes getting home, but in the first three weeks, uh, they weren't generating a lot of pressure off of the four-man rush, and I think you saw a lot of that last week. Eric O'Neill, two sacks, also a pick six. Uh, Kyrie Manns has been great on the opposite side all year. So I, there's some huge improvements in the defensive line, and like I said, this game's going to be one in the trenches. So I think it's really good to build off of the confidence that they built you know, last week in that win over Ball State. Yeah, I mean, how do you kind of see this one starting out? Because, you know, JMU, they have to travel down to Louisiana. It's, you know, a pretty long road trip for them, especially in comparison to the other, you know, North Carolina games they've been going up to. Do you think that will play a factor in this game? I think we'll see. We'll have to wait and see. Um, you know, they've had some slow, they had a slow start versus Charlotte, slow start versus Garden Webb, but that game was kind of slow the entire way anyways. But, yeah, I think it's going to be, you know, it's going to be noticeable to see how they start and see how the coaches prepare for this game. It's a first Sun Belt matchup, and I think it's something that, the coaches are probably telling the guys, I haven't heard this from them, but it's kind of like a clean slate, right? You know, you're know, you perfect and out of conference play, and now it's you got to win as many games as some about impossible to compete for that college football playoff start. So I think the start is going to be huge. If they start off slow, ULM will be able to implement their run game, and you know they may, that's the only way they're going to be able to compete with the Dukes. So that start is going to be, like you said, everything. I think it's going to be very important for them to get off fast. Um, get off fast, yeah. Is there any takeaways you've had either from the press conference Monday, anything leading up to the game that really you think is really informative to the fans out there? Yeah, I think watch out for Ahmad Hardy. You know, they're, run, they're running back. I think they're really they're game planning against them similar to how they game planned against Amari and Hampton at UNC. Just kind of lock down the edges, force them to, to sides of the field that they, they can contain them, um, and just stop the run game. I think this is that's pretty much what the biggest takeaway that, that, that ULM's offense brings and what – JMU's defense is trying to limit, um, and also just pass rush. Like I said, man, the game's gonna, this game's going to be one of, the, one of the trenches. ULM has a good defensive line. They have a really good running game on the other side of the ball. So if they can just, you know, keep the forefront in the ground, in the ground game, I think JMU's going to be fine.